Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin and Cardano. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Bitcoin chart and the Cardano chart. And it seems like a confirmation of what we said this morning. It seems to be a good week for crypto. Starts quite well. Um, haven't seen those prices for Bitcoin in, in a week or so now. So yes, yeah, good to get back to these levels. You can see it here. Um, and we are moving higher pretty much as expected, as I said yesterday, that I would expect now higher prices because we were moving or approaching the key support level here at 45 and a half. And the confirmation seems to be there. You know, we move out of this and that's very important. We broke out of this pattern. That is what Cardano hasn't done yet, but Bitcoin has. And it, it definitely affects the entire market, which is which is good. You know, you can see here on CoinMarketCap, a lot of the cryptos moving up because, you know, people know that Bitcoin has just broken a pattern. It's not just like, all right, you know, we, we are still just hitting the resistance here. No, we're actually moving up and um, we're at the highest point where we were today. I mean, we already were at 49K today, found resistance here at the previous highs. Obviously, we need to break above them. But very nicely, you can see a double bottom here on the Bitcoin chart. And also that W bottom is, is really, really good because you can see it's actually a slightly higher low than the previous one. So that is good. Yeah, if you have here on that W bottom or double bottom, you have a higher low here. You know, that was yesterday, slightly higher, you know, the wick than the previous low. That is positive. Um, also, what I did tell you is <laughs> two things. First of all, we had the moon phases, right? That was a bit of a, a joke, but I think it actually has, it potentially has some relevance because we know that the moon phases, they affect people as well. So why would they not affect the charts? But um, yeah, that, that was with it, taking it, taking it uh, with a bit of a pinch of salt, you know. But yeah, we are uh, in a full moon phase, so... Based on that, we can expect here the price to go up. Um, and also, we are in this phase, in this wave B. And I've been saying that this is primarily what I do expect. Um, and this seems to be playing out. And yesterday I told you that I expect here a breakout to the upside this week. And it happens. Um, doesn't really look like a fake out for me at the moment anymore. It, it seems to be something substantial because we also retested that blue EMA here. I think it is the 13-day EMA. And on top of that, we are building a three wave structure here. And that is actually what we've been looking for. Um, and that is great. You know, that's also what I what I mentioned in my previous video here. I think we are now in this, um, as, you, as you know, I expect it to come down in an ABC. And within the wave B, you have three waves. You have within the wave B an A, B and C. And the wave B came back to a perfect 0.618 FIP level. So that has been perfect. And that also is why I said here, I would expect a reversal to the upside. And we're doing that. And um, we're still very early though. So it's, you know, it, it, it's still a bit risky anyway. And, and, you know, it's a bit too early to get euphoric, but it's nice to see that. And yeah, we've got this ABC. And after the ABC, what we would then expect when that has played out here in white, ABC, then we would expect that wave C to the downside to play out in the same way that we've seen here in the one, two, three, four, five way down in a wave A, because a wave A is impulsive, consists of five waves, and a wave C is impulsive, consists of five waves. So from here, you would then expect another drop, retracement, drop, retracement, drop, you know, something like that, um, roughly. That's how what, what we would expect then. And you know, the ideal target level for this would be somewhere between 58 and 59K. Possibly here, where I've marked the previous wave four at 559k. That is what I would definitely expect the price to get into. I mean, I need to be careful, you know, definitely, but with a high probability, the price to get into this area. Def also, <laughs> careful about the yellow target area. That I think is where we are getting into, and with an ideal target of, you know, 59k. Um, also, you know, if, if someone wanted to trade this, you know, we, we've obviously now had confirmation or, you know, a breakout. Personally, I would, if I if I was doing it, and that's no financial advice, because it's risky, because we are in a correction, you know, we are in a B wave, to trade a B wave is not necessarily um, the best way to do it, but definitely what we what we do expect here, what I do expect, is an impulsive move now in the wave C to the upside before we come down. Obviously, this could be traded, people can make money with it. I would do it that way. I would now, because we've seen the confirmed breakout, uh, start a long position but set a stop loss below the low, yeah? So with the stop loss be below, you know, you, you, you see the support level here, right? So you don't want to set it at the support level because that can be hit quite easily, but, you know, slightly below that, possibly below the round number, so below 45K, somewhere here, a stop loss. That is a risky trade because, um, 
you know we, we are sort of in a correction in a larger correction we're not in an in an in a, in a long-term uptrend i think we're in a longer term downtrend um it always depends on what you say long term but i think this whole downtrend is going to play out until early next year so what you have here in in here obviously is that three wave structure so you've come down in the wave a you now come up in a wave b that's what could be traded now in that wave b if you know if you haven't bought in lower of course um and then come down again in a wave c but from here i mean from 49 to around 58k i mean that's quite a bit of profit that could be taken and it could be taken for other altcoins i expect altcoins to move in a similar fashion as well you know maybe not all of them maybe not necessarily the ones that already now did perform well over the last few days you know there, there were a few maybe they maybe they will be a bit weak you know always moving a bit against bitcoin um but but we'll see you know that has to be looked at individually for each cryptocurrency um but here now we can see cardano cardano still in the pattern still in the triangle you know haven't hasn't broken out yet we, we were approaching the 127 today i did tell you today the 127 is the breakout point we were approaching it today it did fail though so it, it is also losing out on the awtc chart again so we are not yet broken out here and karan chart not very strong at the moment necessarily or definitely that downtrend has slowed down we have bottomed out for now that's how it's looking like you know we found support at this orange ascending trend line still finding support here um should bitcoin drop now i would say you know then you know, we definitely come back to the orange support line we're now pretty much at the resistance line here at 126 but we need to break the 126 127 to get out of this triangle um that's what cardano just needs to do and that's what i'm waiting for and then from here if bitcoin really moves up to 58k i would expect cardano to get to something around here 145 or even 175 so the 145 level you know that that is the um doo -doo -doo. no i think something moved here i need to move those fips back that was it um, yeah something like that there you go so that's the 145 um is the the 0.786 fib level that's the next key resistance then and then we've got 175 that's just purely because we had the previous highs here um on the 2nd of december and then you've got the 180 181 level that's the 0.618 fibonacci retracement level a very important support level that was and that is also a very important resistance level and i don't think if bitcoin gets to um 58k i think that's sort of the maximum we could do you know in that uptrend and then hopefully if bitcoin then comes down in a wave c i just hope that cardano will hold a dollar if cardano doesn't hold a dollar um, it will unlock lower prices of course then we have to talk about a longer correction that will take longer to work out and then we can talk about price of around 60 cents maybe you know um even though i don't like talking about it but that's what we have to talk about unfortunately then um and that would just take longer than for cardano to recover then we need to, then we would need to look at the higher level chart pattern and um we maybe do some recounts here or whatever but at the moment this is still for me the most likely scenario that in here we are coming up once more coming down to a one dollar level then and from here then when bitcoin finally gets its reversal done between 20 and 29k that's still my primary primary view here um that we then turn around so what's, what am i going to do i'm going to sell some of my cryptos when we get into this range here between 55 and 63k that's just what i'm going to do out of my trading portfolio i'm going to take some profits in here um knowing that i could be wrong and with, with, with a small probability we could actually move through here to new all-time highs i don't think though that will happen um and then using that money in a bear market or in a uh short correction here to the downside and i don't expect this to become a real bear market some people might call it like that i would still see it as a larger correction within a bull market yeah um, and then next year i would expect much higher prices well, while we talk we're actually going higher again approaching the 49k so i'm going to upload the video now when you watch this maybe we're already at 49 maybe even 50k here yeah? so that is where we are and um, it's starting to look interesting and it's starting to play out next key resistance for bitcoin obviously here the 49k but then after that you've got 50k and that is also where we've got this daily ema here the 21 day ema hope you liked the update if you did please smash the like button and subscribe thanks a lot for watching bye bye